Okay, here we go. Just because I bought a cheap Chinese trim this week, I might as well compare it to what I already have. This is my early 2000s, maybe even late 1990s, I don't know. Uh, Epiphone Les Paul Special. This came with P90s, which I replaced. This was my guitar fetish phase that I went through. 15 years ago, maybe 17 years ago. Who the hell remembers? Anyway, these are uh, knockoff, like, uh, what are they? They're like Gretsch pickups almost. What do they call those? I forget. Qtrons or something, whatever they are, something Tron pickups. Anyway, these are nothing but regular humbucking pickups. These were called the Liverpools or something. They were supposed to be modeled after the Gretsch ones, but they're just, they're the same exact pickup that they put out as you know, the Seymour Tonkin double P90 humbucker, you know. This one I put a roller bridge on because it has this ridiculous X-Trem knockoff Bigsby on it, which I kind of love. I ain't going to lie to you. It's got its shortcomings, of course, like they always do, but I really do love this freaking things. Uh, I had to take the studs out, and I didn't know what to do at the time. So what I did was I put a piece of... Uh, pick card material because the old uh the old 335s when they put tremolos on them they would pull the studs out and they would put a sign that would say custom made there and i was going to have one made or buy one off the internet or whatever and i never did i just kind of put a piece of plastic and i if you look closely i moved the ground from the stud thing i pulled it out and i put it into this stud which was stupid because i should have just drilled through here and pull, put it into there but me not not so smart 15 years ago whenever the hell I did that um, this is a pretty good design it doesn't have a lot of throw it's got kind of a stubby it came with two springs one weak and one stronger this is the stronger of the two springs if you notice there's not a lot of room here it kind of bottoms out real fast you dig that but it's got roller here that just, you know, they're just on a, on, a, on a post, and you keep those oiled. That's not too bad. And they keep it spaced well. It's got spacing like that in the back. I mean, my stupid thumb is all over everything. Holy shit, do I need a camera. Anyway, the strings just go in there just like that, which is so much easier. They don't have to hold in like that Chinese thing I just bought. So I forgot to mention that in the other video. You kind of have to stick an eraser back there so the thing don't pop out. It's kind of... Kind of lame. But like I said, this one, if you look, and then they come out right there, and you do that, and it's all on a bar, and it's very Bigsby-like, and the whole stupid nine yards. Uh, I'm not going to be playing this one for you. I toot it up. is a pain in the ass and all that other shit with these goddamn things. But let's just take a nice look at it, at least, because it's, it's a really good, beautiful, playing cheap guitar. Uh, there is, you know, the exception to the rule with these cheap guitars. Epiphone, of course, makes a good product. Everybody knows that. You will get good ones and bad ones. This was a good one. That's the reason I kept this. I was going to get rid of it because the P90s, of course, are the noisiest things in the world. But what I found out about these P90s that I took out here, they were actually pretty mellow, opposed to the the Gibson P90s. Are, you know, they rip. They sound more like a buzzsaw. Where the ones I took out of here were just a little bit softer. So I ended up using those for certain projects. But anyway, here's my uh, knockoff other tremolo guitar. All right, that's all I got. Later.